Food. Drama. I hear a court. Verdict. The victor is your favorite restaurants, chefs, and cook shops from across Jamaica summoned to go head to head, pot to pot, meal to meal. Ginger mango chicken. Chef Andre Lloyd and Chef Oseboro Jones give it their best shot to see who will have the better combination of the spice, ginger, fruit, mango, and poultry chicken in this case file foulishness on the seasoning finale of Maggie Food Court. This week's jury members are food enthusiast and critique Okino Petrie, media personality turned farm chick Debbie Bissoon, Chef Brian Lumley, Executive Chef at District 5. Attention contestants, Maggie Food Court is now in session. Case file, foulishness. Presiding over by the highest food court judge, Dufton Duffy Shepherd. Greetings. Morning, Judge. Morning, Judge. Mm. Both of you gentlemen are here before the Maggie Food Court. Uh, Bailey Poste. Both of you are here for foulishness. <laughs> uh, Mr. Jones, Chef Jones. Yes, sir. Well, oh, that's you. Yeah. How do you pronounce your first name? Osei Boro. Uh-huh. Osei Boro Jones. Awesome. Awesome. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say why B-O-R-O-J-O-N-E-S. I'll say Jones. Right. You have a nickname? Yeah, Chef Jones. That's your nickname? Chef Jones? Alex. Alex? Yeah. So Alex is your nickname, yeah. and your also Boro is your real name? Real name. Right. Chef Alex. I'll work with that. Let's take a look at Chef Ose Boro Jones' file. I am Austin Moore Jones, aka Chef Jones, aka what I'm called, Bad Chef. I'm saying we can do a thing, I don't know. You'll have to be the judge of that. I've been cooking for like 15 years. I really love pastas. A variety of pasta, whether Mexican, Italian, French, American, I just love cooking pasta. My favorite Maggie product to use is all purpose. It lives for its name. They say it's all purpose, it does, it's all purpose. My name is Rasheen Piquet. I think Chef Jones is one of the baddest chefs, no doubt about it. I don't know exactly which other chefs are on this episode, but I know for a fact them have to come good to get the Chef Jones. Yeah, Maggie is very good. Trust me, I really enjoy using it. Maggie, all purpose with a jerk. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Jones? Yeah, Mr. Jones. You have been someone to attend the Maggie food court. Okay. I'm Chef Jones, and I just got someone to the Maggie food court. See you all there. And we have Mr. Lloyd, Andre Lloyd. Okay, and you, have a, you have a nickname? Yeah, the kitchen scientist. The kitchen scientist. Yeah. Let's take a look at Chef Andre Lloyd's file. My name is Andre Lloyd, 29 years old from Kingston Gardens, that's in Hero Circle downtown. So I go by the, the nickname, the kitchen scientist. The interesting thing about the scientist part, I didn't really want to become a chef. I love science. So the two kind of came together, you know, cooking is a science in itself, so a lot of experimenting. So my favorite thing to prepare is anything seafood. Now the funny thing about that is I'm allergic to seafood. I do this thing I call blind cooking. I don't taste seafood, but it comes out very well. I'm Leslie. And I'm Estefan. And we met Andre last year, August. We've been to a lot of restaurants, and when I compare his food to what I get at the restaurants, what I can tell you is that his is out of this world. Well, what I can tell you is that I know that the kitchen scientist is going to win Maggie Food Court. Hello. Hello. You're here by someone to attend the Maggie Food Court. It's a boy, the kitchen scientist, and I've just been summoned to Maggie's food court, and I'll see you there. We are interested one now, Bailey. <laughs> okay, so gentlemen, before we get to the main matter, I want to see if you guys are ready for the, the food court. You think you're ready? Let's see. You think you're ready for the food, the Maggie food court? No, oh, he's ready. Well, I'm going to give you a little test. Something to warm up the, the cooking fingers. But before you do even that, you have to get the ingredients that you need to cook your main course and your appetizers, right? Definitely. 
So you're going to have to go over to the Maggie food court and get some Maggie items. I'll give you guys 10 minutes to do that. 10 minutes is enough? Well, I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. 10 minutes. All right. Bailiff, set them off. After three, one, two, three. Our Maggie Food Court contestants have 10 minutes to shop for Nestle products at the Nestle store. You too can shop for Nestle products at familynest.bigshop.com and get attractive savings and free delivery on orders over $3,000. Scientist. Finish your shopping? You finish your Maggie shopping? Yes, sir. Chef Alex, what did you get? Well, I get Maggie all purpose. Mm -hmm. Vegetable flavor Maggie, Gloria milk, Maggie soup it up. And these are the things for your main course and your appetite. Appet yeah, right. Mr. Scientist, Chef Scientist. Yes, sir. So here have? we have um, all purpose, some complete seasoning, maggi complete seasoning, chicken seasoning, vegetable bouillon, chicken bouillon, soup it up mix, and chicken seasoning. And more all purpose. All of these yes, sir. Interesting. All right, gentlemen, put away your bags. Put away the bags. You ready to start cooking? Ready to warm up? Yes, George. All right, here's what's going to happen. Forget about the appetizers and the main course for a minute. 15 minutes, I'm going to give you guys to make a quick dish. Could you go over to the fridge for me, please, Bailiff? <laughs> Chef Alex, you look concerned. Like 15 minutes to do what? Forget about the appetizer and the main dish. You have 15 best dressed minutes. I like how that sounds. Open the, the fridge for me now. And you're going to use any item that's in this fridge. These are all best dressed items to make a quick dish. 15 minutes from start to finish. Ready? Expect the unexpected. Close the fridge, bailiff. After three, one, three. Come on, gentlemen, move quicker, move quicker. It's 15 minutes. gentlemen 13 minutes stay tuned as maggie food court resumes in a moment i don't have enough time for get dinner done so me draw for my maggie seasoning save me enough time anything me cooking them have a maggie for that work magic in the kitchen with maggie curry powder and seasoning cube because there's a maggie seasoning to make every meal taste better see there with the flavor magician Bob's dinner served. No complaints from the kids. Them think I'm the best cook in the world. I'm a Maki girl. Yo, Chef Jones is here. Body Chef Ronto. And I asked a question. Enter you want to a catering, anything at all, link up Chef Jones. Jones catering. Whether local or international, Japanese, Italian, French, Mexican, name it. You don't have to talk about the Jamaican thing. You know we have that lack. If you can't cook Jamaican food, you're not a bad chef. Jamaica will come from, so we have to have that lack. Enter your one link of Chef Jones, you know the thing said. 291 5403. Remember, 8764. Don't forget it, Jamaica will get it. the overseas, we tell you how that goes. Yeah.
all lead busy lives. We spend so much time in traffic or on a bus, but with all these distractions, there is an opportunity to make our time together something to get dressed for. Making time to share the goodness, share a milestone, share a meal. Sharing your life's most important experiences is a meal together away. The best dressed chicken. Make life delicious. Maggie Food Court continues. Understand. Ten minutes have passed. You have five minutes to make it. Five minutes. Um, I use a complete season. Yes. Yo, we keep it simple, you know No, but I feel just improvise, though. No, yeah, improvise, I just keep it simple, dog. Just so make a simple, dog. So make a simple chicken, dog. You know what I say? I want the fork, you know? Yeah? Yeah, I say I want the fork, you know? <laughs> no, are you want the fork? Look how you got. Keep it simple, I dog. Say, but I eat both my guard, man. Ah, that you got, my guard, dog. Come on, man. Some for money. Yeah. Let's keep it simple. Contestant, the time is up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chef Alex, what did you make? Uh, it's a chicken wrap, you know, sir. It's a sautéed chicken wrap. A sautéed chicken wrap. Vegetable. With vegetable. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, kitchen. The kitchen scientist. He also made a um, uh, chicken wrap. Um, it's a breakfast wrap. <laughs> Where is it? It's right here. Oh, oh. It's a breakfast wrap with, um, with a sweet, yeah, with a sweet um, pineapple and purple cabbage slaw. Scrambled eggs and jerk sausage. Quick 15 minutes. So the warm up now. You think you're ready for the main event? Yes, Judge. You think you're ready? Ready, man. Bailey, if I see you're swagging a while ago, man. Sensima, who got the keys to my bima? Who am I? The girls them sugar. Out and stunting. All right. All right, gentlemen. I'll be back in a little while. I'll wait for the instructions from the bailiff. Not bad, not bad. Kill that. Remember. <laughs> Kill that dog. <laughs> Contestants, date the meals, clean your ears, and await the return of the job. So this is the dishes by uh, the chef. This is Chef Jones' dish, and this is Chef Lloyd's okay. presentation. Yeah. Is it? Why are you cutting it off? Just eat it. I'm sorry, it's my, a wrap. my fingernails. I'm sorry, <laughs> joke. <laughs> Let me try. It. This yes. is loaded. It's got like a lot of protein on one plate. Yeah. This is pretty loaded. For me, it's a little bland. Well, in 15 minutes, you know, it's not much. My expectations are not that great. Let me see. I don't have to waste the plate. Go ahead, Debbie. Really just... <laughs> <laughs> so why you put the big old plate in? <laughs> You're trying to say something. Give no. me a small plate. <laughs> This one mm -hmm. is much better than the other one. There's a lot of flavors happening yeah. here. I mean, the, it, it's a lot of juices, so the, the wrap mm -hmm. kind of gets a little soggy. Overall, though, I think they both did a good job based on the time that they had. So I'm looking forward to seeing what will be the, the appetizer on the main course, because yeah. I think that's what's truly going to um, separate, separate them. Too. Yeah. 
this is really good for 15 minutes. That's after both of them. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen. Mm. So, the warm up is out the way. It's now time for the. Oh, you're ready, my general. Sleeves up and. No little swag. Man, I'll have told them ways and. Mm, we have style well, of the things. Man. Uh, we have style of the things. Is it? Style of the things, man. We don't fear people here. It's style of the things. things. Born Born look. What do you say, chef? Make the food talk for itself. Uh. Food talk for itself. Or you mean beard gap. <laughs> Ready for them. Alright, so I'm going to give you guys one hour to prepare an appetizer and a main course. This will be presented to the jurors who will be making the final decision. I have nothing to do with it. Me and the bailiff just here. Well, I'm here chilling. The bailiff just not doing nothing. It's not right there. Look by the question. Nothing at all. You guys ready? Yes, sir. Ready? One hour. One hour. Starting with? Oh. After three. One, two, three. All right, one hour. One hour. Come on. Everybody look on them watch, man. That's how they cook. Look on the watch. Stay tuned as Maggie Food Court resumes in a moment. I don't have enough time to get dinner done, so I draw for my Maggie seasoning. Save me enough time. Anything me cooking, them have a Maggie for that. Work magic in the kitchen with Maggie curry powder and seasoning cubes. Because there's a Maggie seasoning to make every meal taste better. See there, with the flavor magician, Bob's dinner served. No complaints from the kids. Them think I'm the best cook in the world. I'm a Maggie girl. If you don't know me, you know me now, it's a kitchen scientist and just check out my IG page at letter D, kitchen underscore scientist, where you see a array of dishes. And also, don't be afraid to reach out and hire me for private caterings, you know, like birthday parties, weddings, I do it all. You remember when you used to eat that favorite sweet and you feel it popping in your mouth? That's what you're going to experience when you taste my food. Jump in at the inbox and let's get to know each other and let's do some business. We all lead busy lives. We spend so much time in traffic or on a bus. But with all these distractions, there is an opportunity to make our time together something to get dressed for. Making time to share the goodness, share a milestone, share a meal. Sharing your life's most important experiences is a meal together away. The best dressed chicken. Make life Delicious. Maggie Food Court continues. Arabia. Come on, dear thing, one thing there. Come on. Come on over here. <laughs> you might ask me. I was trying to just make sure that Andre, they on the right, right side, like 
I don't want, right, I'm, I'm like a people person. You know? I'm working together with him and he's a person that I know, so I'm just there with him. So yo, you're good, you're all right? You're good, you want to help you with anything? So I just need that. You have three levels where you need oil. You need have sauteing, searing, shallow frying, deep frying. The, so the, the one that he put in shallow, looks shallow fry deep. and deep. <laughs> I can't really see it anything. And plus, you wouldn't see something in that part if you yeah, poured it in the other one. Of course, then. it'll go for the. So, I'm curious to see. It looks like he's cooking a bulk every day. So, as far as he knows, he needs no file. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. Maybe don't yeah. trust the, the deep fryer that you guys have here. Mm. Mm. Oh. Want to put on something that we can Look at and knife skills, come through. That's Julian. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's a Julian technique. I can Julian an onion. My knife skills I've, I've practiced over the years. As I said earlier on, I, I always watch like Food Network. You know, some kids grow up watching cartoons. That was my thing. I always try to perfect on every bit of aspect in the kitchen. And knife skills, it's very important. Once you have the right cuts and everything, it helps with the flavor and the texture of stuff. So I've always kind of tried to keep that up to par. So when my daddy cut up my something and just normal, what are you? Normal cut it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. How goes it, gentlemen? One of the jurors would like to take a, a walk through to see what's going on. David, could you? Welcome, Chef Lovely. Uh huh. I'm here, sir. Chef Lloyd. Chef Jones. Very good to see you guys. Let's start with Chef Jones over here. Potato in this pot, all right? What do you have us for us there? Uh, this is for the chicken for the quesadilla. Okay, that's the appetizer? Yeah. Nice. And how you plan to incorporate the mango into your main course? Uh, I'll find a way. Still figuring it out? Yeah, still. It's kind of puzzling, but. What? I'm going to find it. I'm going along the way. I'm going to find it. So the, the mango it's jerk. And the ginger, ginger mango. Ginger mango. Juice. Ginger mango, so you know. Alright. I see you have your mango garnish there. Yeah. What is this? That's the salsa for the uh, quesadilla. Yeah. Alright. All the best, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Alright, Chef Andre. What do you have over here now? I saw some wontons. You have some aki wontons. Can I play on like a Jamaican breakfast? Okay. Gonna make a avocado puree to go along with. A avocado puree? Yes, Chef. See, you know, people um, normally eat aki and, you know, aki and pear together. Yeah. The, the wonton skin is going to um, play on like a fried dumpling, so it's going to have that texture, that crunchy texture on the outside. Yes, I was, you know, thinking along the lines of like an ackee and fried dumpling kind of situation. You know, um, well, it was actually supposed to be a spring roll. It was inspired by the great Chef Lumley himself, <laughs> where, you know. Oh, oh. I used to work for Chef Lumley. As a matter of fact, when I saw him today, to be honest, I was a bit flustered by it because I know he has a very high standard when it comes to cooking and I just really wanted to you know meet that standard being that I came from under his teachings. Alright. Well all the best chef. Thank you. Yeah. Remember flavor in the food. We love flavor around there. Alright. Jones, looking good. Alright. Chefs, good luck. You have the you have the string bean though. Yeah. So you're good now. You overcome all your fear. You see? You overcome your fear, though. you're good. Which fear? I already tell you. Go for expect, you know. Contestants, <laughs> you have 20 minutes remaining. 20 minutes. So the chicken was cooking very soft and nice at 300. And then the time master said, hey, you got 20 more minutes in it. So you know what I do? I bought that oven. I say, hey, don't now catch me today. Catch me on next day. Contestants, your time is up. Plate your meals. Clean your ear and await the return of the judge. We 
Ref and judges. Welcome. Yeah. All right. So please tell us what you have for us here today. Okay, so today we have in front of you a uh, Aki wonton. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a play on a Jamaican breakfast. So the wonton skin kind of plays off like a crispy fried dumpling, Johnny cake. The Aki on the inside, nice and velvety. And you know, people tend to eat Aki with pear. So I decided to make a avocado puree on the side and that's a sweet chili on top. Okay, and what do you have over here? So I have a chicken roulade stuffed with a ginger mango chutney wrapped in a kalaloo leaf, mm -hmm. kind of giving that sushi kind of effect on the outside. Okay. And I have some herb potato medallions and the fire roasted vegetables on top. All right, well, thank, thank you, you chef. How are you, Chef? I'm fine. All right, tell us what you have here. It's an appetizer serving with a task veg with a salsa. Okay. And uh, chicken quesadilla is, be is based with uh, chicken and sweet peppers, sweet, um, bell pepper, onion, okay. and dip with a sour cream. Mm. Okay. Mm. Flavorful. Thank you. Um, yes, the next uh, one? Mango bake. Mango ginger bake. OK, what does this competition mean to you? Well, this will be a lot in it. It's, like, it's the first exposure for me, for really, out there. Awesome. Nice. Big up, best dress, big up, Maggie. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Chef. We All right, you know chef, thank you. OK, thanks. All right, so I think both chefs were, you know, they made fair attempts. I think it's going to be very close in my book. I don't know what you think, Brian and Debbie. For me, you know, I mean, hats off for your technique in the kitchen. But on my end, it's about taste. So for me, it was close, not in an overwhelmingly great way. There, there's a separation. Um, I think they could have done a little more to pay attention to the details. So mm -hmm. one chef decided to use a lot of technique, but kind of fell back on the flavor. And one mm -hmm. played it safe, but still kind of fell back on the flavor in some aspects in mm -hmm. the main dish. It was a little difficult for me to choose between the flavor and the appearance, but I think we've made a decision. Yeah, I think we found a winner. Yeah, we'll pretty much conclude on our decision. Hi, Jules. Come to already? Yeah, I did. Yeah, we did. Good. Can I have it, please? Thank you. Sir. Go see how who have the latch. Okay. Okay. All right. So, the verdict of the Maggie Food Court is in favor of Chef Jones. Congratulations, Chef Jones. See there? It's for wife here and the kids there. Right home. But if my wife is watching right now, my wife is saying, that boy don't smile for nobody, you know. Why is he smiling on TV? Thank you for tuning in to this season of Maggie Food Court. Thank you for all the laughs, the participation, the comments, and all the support that you have given us. Now, until the food court resumes its next sitting, I am High Court Food Judge, Dufton Duffy Shepherd, and the beer. What's <laughs> 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 <laughs>